Welcome back. When we go this way, we find another cave leading into the island. But our passage is blocked. It doesn't seem like that's the end of the tunnel though. It looks more like that's some kind of door. Probably some way to open that. Although I don't know how. Then over here, near all these holes in the ground, we find a rope. So let's uh, pull that rope. And a rope ladder falls down. So... Um, of course, I can't climb that because I have the, ta the slate with me. Then why did I pick it up? Well, let's drop it here. Can barely see it. It's sort of lying across that hole. Anyway, um, that's weird. No borrow. For some strange reason, the borrow don't want to pick up the slate while it is lying here. Maybe it has something to do with those holes in the ground. Oh. I should have put it down a bit further away from the ladder. So, let's climb that ladder and see what is up here. A nice grassy field. And some kind of weird egg-shaped structure in the middle. Quite like this grass. Although I think that it's going to be very hard on the video encoding. There's a bunch of stones standing around the uh, structure. There's one here. You can see that there's one over there. One over there as well. There's some symbols on these stones. And it seems we can change the symbol. And it definitely sounds as if something is moving, something big, when we do that. Let's see if the other stones are the same. Yep. And there's one on this side too. Meaning there are four of them in total. That reminds me of something. A, an egg-shaped building with four stones around it. That reminds me of the... Uh, of the thing we saw downstairs. Near the rain symbol. It's uh, over there somewhere. Because that was... An egg-shaped stone with four balls around it. So maybe the symbols we saw in the reflections in the balls are the symbols we need for those stones. That's a bit problematic because those symbols aren't actually on these stones. So maybe it's something else entirely. For now, let's take a look at that structure. Looks like it's made by the barrow. At the very least, it has a lot of borrow writing on the side. And it has a bunch of windows as well. Allowing us to look inside. Some strange stuff in there. Oh, you can see that there are symbols over the insides of the windows. And those symbols do resemble the ones that we uh, were seeing. 
in the reflections. For instance, this symbol is one of the four we saw in the reflections. Looks like that window is also open, so let's look, take a look through there. There's another symbol that we need. And the window we were just looking through, which I guess is that one, also has a symbol we need above it. So what can we do with that? Well, there are symbols on the windows as well. And we can actually open and close these windows. So maybe the symbols on the inside of the windows correspond to the symbols on the outside. So that means that the symbol with the two circles and the two vertical lines, which we saw in the top right uh, reflection, would correspond to this symbol, which sort of looks like a power symbol on a remote control. Actually, let's take a little closer look at these symbols. They seem to have a pattern to them. You see, that here we have one that has one vertical line. Then the next one is two vertical lines. Then two vertical lines and one horizontal line. A bit hard to see because it's blocked by the pole, but anyway. Then two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. Then a circle. Then a circle and a vertical line. Then I can't really see it. Let's move back to the uh, other window. A circle and two vertical lines. Circle, two vertical lines, one horizontal line. Circle, two uh, vertical lines, two horizontal lines, two circles, two circles and a vertical line. If I were to guess, I'd say that these are numbers. Maybe borrow numbers or something. I'm not sure. Not dunny numbers anyway. So that would be one, and two, etc. So this one, with two circles and uh, two vertical lines, would be 12. So 12 corresponds to this symbol. And the other open window we see here at the number two above it, two vertical lines, which we saw in the bottom right reflection, which I guess corresponds to this symbol then. And these symbols, they are on the stones that are around the edge. So I'm guessing we need to map all four symbols. So what else do we need? Uh, we need number four, which we could see from here, I think. Yeah, it's sort of right across this one. But it is uh, a closed window. There seems to be two windows down from the number two, which is obvious because it's the number four. So this is two. And three. And four. So the number four corresponds to three horizontal lines. I guess that these are also numbers, maybe in another system? I'm not entirely sure. One of the two is probably the borrow number system, and what the other one is, I don't know. So let's open that one as well, just to uh, so we know that we've done it. The last symbol we need is the number nine, a single circle with um, two horizontal and two vertical lines which is over there. Well, this is number four, so it should be five windows down. One, two, three, four, five. Which makes it this symbol. Two vertical lines with a short horizontal line. And go back to the other window and verify that we got the right one. Yep. I just opened it, so now we can see that we uh, actually got the correct symbol. So now we know exactly what symbols um, the symbols we need correspond to. We have the number two, two vertical lines, which corresponds to six dots 
in two rows of three. The number four, two vertical lines, two horizontal lines, which corresponds to three horizontal lines. The number nine, a circle, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines, which corresponds to two vertical lines and a short horizontal line. And the number 12, two circles and two vertical lines, which corresponds to a circle with a vertical line at the top, which sort of looks like a power symbol. So let's see if we can uh, find those symbols on these stones, but we'll do that in the next video.